guys. Okay, today for reading, we're going to be jumping back in our last book. Remember the fun green book that we've been working in? We're jumping back to lesson seven. Lesson seven is about recounting stories. So we're going to kind of review that this week, maybe into next week. This lesson is about a standard that focuses on recounting and retelling stories. Our standard says, recount stories including fables and folk tales from diverse cultures and determine their central message, lesson, or moral. So that's our focus this week. <clears throat> We're going to read a story on I Ready. That's fun. And then some different fables and folk tales from different cultures. So we get to learn about different people from around the world. So that'll be fun and exciting. We are going to be jumping back to lesson seven from our laughs book. And that is about recounting stories. So retelling stories, events, things that happen in our books that we've read. This is the standard that we are going over. Laughs 2RL 1.2. Recount stories including fables and folk tales from diverse cultures and determine their central message, lesson, or moral. That is what we are going to be focusing on this week and probably into next week. So here is a starter video for us to remind us what we are going to be learning about. Wonder. How did the stars get into the sky? Let's see what this story tells us. This is called The Pueblo Girl Scatters the Stars by Alicia Zadarani. The Pueblo Girl Scatters the Stars by Alicia Zadrozny. Before we Before start, you read, do you know what a folktale is? If you do, mm. tap the words that tell what a folktale is. If you don't, tap the question mark to learn more. Let's think about it. A folktale. A story that people have told for many years. A thing that has been in a family for many years. Mm. A folktale is a story that people in a community have told again and again for many years. Are you ready to read? The Pueblo Girl Scatters the Stars? Let's go! The lost girl had been walking for hours. She moved her bag from shoulder to shoulder. It's as heavy as a sack of corn, she said. Take this bag, the mother of all people had told her. Do not open it. You will find your tribe by the great river. Give the bag to the elders. Then you will learn its secret. Let's see. Tribe. A tribe is a group of people made up of many families. Mm. What happens in this part of the story? Complete the sentences. The mother of all people gives the lost girl a... The girl must not... It. Mm. The mother of all people gives the girl a, <coughs> hmm, looks like a bag if I look back in the story. The girl must not open it. Yes, you got it. The girl walked for many days. Her feet ached. 
She missed her tribe, but mostly she thought about the bag. One night, the girl sat by a stream. She held the bag in her lap. I know I'm not supposed to, she whispered. Then she untied the bag anyway. Ooh. What is the key detail in this part of the story? Mm, the key detail. Key detail. A key detail is something small but important that you need to know in a text. She sits by a stream. She misses her tribe. She unties the bag. Hmm. Then she untied the bag anyway. I think that's the most important. Correct. The girl opened the bag. Tiny objects rolled and scattered everywhere. Were they pebbles? Seeds? The girl didn't have time to find out. The tiny objects moved so fast. Oh no, the girl cried. As she chased the tiny, mysterious things, she grabbed a handful of them. The rest flew away into the sky. They lit up the night. They were stars. Mysterious. Something mysterious is strange and unknown. Which picture shows what comes out of the bag when the girl opens it? Hmm. You see the bag here. We hear things coming out of it. Looks like this. Yes! Good thinking. The girl stuffed one handful of stars back into the bag. She kept walking. All through that night, the girl thought about what she had done. She felt so much shame. Never once did she look up at the bright, twinkling lights. Shame. You feel shame when you are sorry or guilty about doing something. How does the girl feel after opening the bag? Complete the sentences. The girl feels about opening the bag. She never looks up at the... She felt so much shame, so she felt bad as we looked about opening the bag she never looks <coughs> up at the <coughs> excuse me stars that's it finally the girl found her tribe at the river she quickly gave the bag to an elder this bag is from our mother she said i did not listen to her instructions i lost so many stars the elder was kind. He said, you cannot ever lose the stars. They are always with us. How would you retell this part of the story? Hmm. Retell. When you retell a story, you tell important events and key details in order. The elder is kind to the girl. Many stars come out of the bag. The girl gives the bag to an elder. No. Nope. Mm. What important thing happens right after the girl finds her tribe? How would you retell this part of the story? Ah. to work it out. The elder opened the bag. He tossed the rest of the tiny stars into the sky. They hung in the shape of a pot. We will name it Big Dipper, he said. 
From then on, the girl always looked up at the stars, and she tried to name them each and every one. What happens in this folktale? Look at the two events in the chart, then add the last event. Folktale. A folktale is a story that people in a community have told again and again for many years. Oops. Okay, first. First, the girl opens the bag and loses many stars. Mm -hmm. Next, the girl feels shame and looks down. Last. What happened last? The girl hangs the stars in the shape of a pot. The girl learns to always look up at the stars. The girl tosses the rest of the stars into the sky. Hmm, what happened last? Yep, you figured it out. Now I will always look up at the stars and think about the Pueblo girl. What will you read about next? Okay, I got my paper here, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so our learning target for today, retelling stories will help you understand the order of events and how these events happen. So this is our focus. I'm just gonna color this in so I remember it's important. It's our focus. Okay, read. Good storytellers take care to retell or recount Recount the important events of the story in the order they happen. So to recount means we are focusing on the order events happen in the story. You can recount a story by telling the important events from the beginning, middle, and end. Read this story. Think about what happens at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. <coughs> Excuse me. How the elephant got its long nose. This is part of our folk tales and fables in diversity. So this is a tale that has been spread throughout cultures for a long time. A long time ago, elephants had short noses. But one day, a crocodile bit a young elephant on the nose. Oh no, look he has a short nose here. And our crocodile's biting him on the nose. The elephant tried to pull away. As he pulled and pulled, his nose got longer and longer. You can see it stretching out here. When he pulled free, his nose was five feet long. He didn't like it at first. Then he found new things to do with his long nose. He reached into the trees to grab leaves to eat. Best of all, it was fun to take baths. <clears throat> so retelling the story, we had a beginning. So that was what happened first. This is our beginning. Beginning, middle, and then what happened at the end? Beginning, middle, end. Okay, so think. Fill in the chart to tell the important story events in the order they happen. Based on what we just read, what was the most important event that happened in the beginning? This first sentence is not the most important. We don't really need to know that it was a long time ago. I think our focus should be the crocodile bit a young elephant on the nose. So, the crocodile crocodile bit the nose of the elephant. Okay. What 
about in the middle? <coughs> Comes here, most important part. I think we need to tell why, how its nose got longer. So the elephant pulls away and the nose gets longer. That's what I'm going to write. The elephant pulls away and the nose gets longer. So we have our beginning, our middle, and the most important part of the end. He didn't like it at first, then he found new things to do with his long nose. So the elephant found new things to do with his long nose. So we read this and now we're retelling our events from the beginning, the middle, and the end. Okay, and if you want to do this, you can do this with a family member, a friend, you could even tell the pet or yourself. Use these words to talk about the text. <clears throat> we talked about what recount means, event, and order. So order is our beginning, our middle, our end. Recount is what happened in the story, and the events are the important things that happened in the story. <clears throat> okay, and that's for tomorrow, so shh, don't look. Today we read a story about a Pueblo girl, and that was a folk tale, and then we also did this little comic about the elephant and getting his long nose. We know that retelling stories will help you understand the order of events and how these things happen. So that's very important. We talked about the beginning, the middle, and the end of stories. So now we know a little bit more about recounting and retelling stories. We will continue this lesson a little bit more tomorrow. I will see you then.